Well, no surprise here, but your patio planner is pretty much maxed out. It is just a an evening to get out and enjoy 78, 71 and 63 in your forecast for tonight. Just some passing cloud cover. The winds are light. Yeah, take advantage of it. We just don't seem to get a lot of days like this. Now we get into your Friday tomorrow. It's going to be a heater. It would not surprise me if we see some areas hit 90 for tomorrow, then the rain chances are going to return by Sunday and could be very early on Sunday, but also could see a little bit of a severe weather threat. So here's our setup for our next weather maker. We've got low pressure out here in the western part of the country. You see the jet stream running right into the Midwest, the central plains here. The moisture does look to return back into the area pretty quickly on Sunday in time for these little impulses of energy to come through and trigger off the thunderstorms. Now we are just outside of the official outlook period for the Storm Prediction Center, but they do have a large part of the viewing area highlighted for the threat of severe weather on Sunday. With that said, there are still questions. Now the timing of it would be late afternoon into the evening, but we should have thunderstorms already late Saturday night into Sunday morning. And if those linger on long enough, it would limit the instability and could hold down our severe weather threat greatly. So we have a chance of severe weather on Sunday. It is far from a guarantee. Just make sure you stay updated with us here in the First Alert Weather Center. We'll keep you posted. 82 in Imperial right now. It is 79 in Broken Bow, 77 Ainsworth Holdridge. Temps are fantastic. Elsewhere Southwest, how about McCook at 79? Eustis at 76. Binkelman is at 79. Just absolutely fantastic. I hope you can just kind of sneak out and enjoy it. The winds are extremely light, under 10 miles per hour. Again, it just doesn't seem like we get a lot of these kind of days where it's very comfortable temps and it's not windy. So hopefully you were able to sneak outside today. Hey, you still got time. Clear, quiet conditions expected tonight. We will start to see those south winds pick up tomorrow, gusting 20 to 25, pushing the heat in. High temps, upper 80s, near 90 tomorrow. Then here comes our cold front. Should swing through very early on Saturday. Maybe some sprinkles. That's about it with it. It will kick the winds up for the first half of the day on Saturday. But by Saturday afternoon, the weather should be pretty nice yet again. 55 for the low tonight. Very comfortable conditions for your overnight hours. And tomorrow, yeah, gets a little hot. 87 here in the Tri-Cities. I would not be surprised, again, if maybe some locations hit 90 out west. 57 as we head into tomorrow night. Could get a little breezy as that front passes through late Friday night into Saturday morning. 54 in York, Lexington. 52 in North Platte tonight. Look at the high temps for tomorrow. 86 in York. 89 McCook, Imperial, Ainsworth at 88. And then we get into the seven day forecast. Good chance of rain Saturday night and then during the day on Sunday. Another good chance of rain Monday night to Tuesday. Only 67 the high on Tuesday, but should rebound pretty quickly there. 78 by the time we hit Thursday. That's a look.